Hello, I'm Michael Mintz, and today we're going to talk about debugging tests with PyTest, which is a very powerful unit testing framework for Python. The PyTest unit testing framework comes with some powerful debugging abilities via the interactive Python debugger, aka debug mode, which utilizes the following two libraries, the included PDB library and the improved but optional IPDB library. This interactive Python debugger lets you take control of scripts in real time for easy debugging. Debug mode in PyTest can be triggered in a few different ways. Your test raises an exception after passing dash dash PDB as a command line option, or the moment your test begins after passing dash dash trace to PyTest, or by calling pdb.setTrace or ipdb.setTrace from your test after importing PDB or IPDB respectively. Python versions 3.7 and newer can also use the new breakpoint method to enter debug mode automatically. So let's get started by first demoing dash dash PDB. To demonstrate this feature, I am going to run a test, test detect 404s, which should have a failure on line eight. Now, if I don't run without dash dash PDB, uh, this automation framework will just immediately run the test and then close the browser window as soon as it completes. So as you can see here, it's running now. There are some broken links on the page that you saw there, and then the test immediately fails with the errors. But let's say I want to activate debug mode so that we can see what's going on before the browser closes. To do that, I can run PyTest testdetect404s.py, but I'm going to add the optional dash dash PDB option to PyTest, and now when I run this exact same test, you'll see that when it hits the line that fails, instead of uh, finishing the test right away, it's going to create a breakpoint which leaves the test open as seen here. So here you can see that the test stopped and it reached an exception, and there's some useful controls that you may want to use, such as you, to go up the stack to go right to the method inside test detect 404s where self.assertno 404 errors was called. And that method basically runs and, and determines that, okay, there are some broken links, so I'm going to fail the test. And you can see by just using up and D, uh, up to go up the stack or D to go down the stack, you can basically go within the method calls to accurately find out what's going on within your test. So since this method fails here, we can say, okay, uh, I know what's going on, uh, the, the browser stopped, I can start debugging, I can uh, basically right click and inspect the page. And let's see, that should open up. And you can see here, fail to load resource. Uh, the server responded with a status of 404 showing the broken links. So if I go back to this test and do C to continue, the browser will finally close and I'll get the errors that it showed at the very beginning, which were the broken links that were detected. So that's just one of the various ways of using uh, the PDB option for the debugger mode. Additionally, you can use the dash dash trace option which will have the test enter debug mode immediately when the test begins. So let's try running a different test for that. Let's do, let's see, pytest, test MFA login.py. So first let's just run that regularly without any additional command line options. And the MFA login test basically verifies two-factor authentication with username, password, and the six-digit multi-factor auth code from Google Authenticator, and then runs and stops. Now, let's say we want to enter debug mode immediately when the test starts running. Well, we can do pytest testmfalogin.py dash dash trace, and the second this test runs and opens the browser window, which is automatic before the test actually uh, runs its first line of code, uh, you should see that you're now in debug mode, and now you can go step by step. I'll just move that around, test open. Uh, so if I go click on here and do next, you'll see that it's going to run that open method, and now I can type 
text into there by doing n for next. And you can see it types the text in there. Uh, next, we can do uh, basically line by line debugging. So if you want to make a change into something happening here, you can just uh, type n for next and it will run that line and next for the multi-factor auth code. And then it basically uh, logs into the web page. And then of course you can do uh, the highlight command next, which runs that command, highlighting the web page that you see there. And when you wanna get out of debug mode, you can just do C and then enter, and that will run the test as normal and continue, and the test will go on from there. So that's one of the ways of doing that. Additionally, if we open the test, let's see, test MFA login.py, we can add a breakpoint on whatever line we want. So let's say after we log in, let's do import IPDB, IPDB.setTrace, and then uh, save that, and then run the test, PyTest that, and you don't need the dash dash trace option anymore. So it's gonna run the test as normally, but because we've entered import IPDB, IPDB.setTrace into the script, it's going to run up to that line where the breakpoint is, and then it's gonna pause your test. So it's gonna log in, as you see here, and then once you get to the screen, it's going to pause because you've hit the breakpoint line, and therefore you can uh, continue as before, and for the next line, etc. And you can do an assert text, etc. Save screenshot or just see to go all the way through, and it will continue the test and continue and close the browser window when the test completes. So those are the main ways of triggering debug mode from within a uh, PyTest test. And also, once you're in debug mode, there are several commands, some of them that you already saw, such as next to go on to the next line, or s, which will allow you to step into method calls from the method made by the method itself. C will let you just continue, which will pretty much leave debug mode and continue the test where the method left off. Uh, there's also the r command for return, which is continue running the test until the current method returns. You can also jump to a different line number, uh, figure out where you are in the stack, U and D to go up and down the stack. There's also LL longlist to basically see the code for the current method block that you're in. You'll see a little bit of that when debug mode is entered. And then you can type dir parentheses parentheses to list the namespace objects so that you can see what variables are defined and additionally just h for help to list all available commands. So that pretty much covers uh, the commands you'll be able to access while you're in debug mode. Additionally, because there's two different debuggers, there's PDB and IPDB, uh, so it's important to know the differences between the two. IPDB basically gives you a little more color to the commands from a regular PDB, and you can make that automatic by either adding a extra line to your dash dash PDB command for debug mode, or if you have a pytest.ini file, you can drop a line like this in it, and then you will automatically get the special IPDB debugger. But you'll also, to keep in mind, you'll need to install IPDB with pip install IPDB uh, if it's not already installed with, say, the test automation framework that you're using. So uh, that pretty much uh, covers debugging tests with PyTest and debug mode. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, there'll be more exciting tutorials to come. Thank you, and bye-bye.